good morning to all this is bharati murugeshan assistant professor of biochemistry adm college for women autonomous nagapatnam uh, today the topic is enzyme assay enzyme assay or laboratory method for measuring enzymatic activity they are vital for study of enzyme kinetics and enzyme inhibition the assay is the act of measuring how fast a given amount of enzyme will convert substrate to product that means the act of measuring a velocity the enzyme assay measure either the disappearance of substrate over time or the appearance of product over time and assay required to determine the concentration of product or substrate at a given time after starting the reactions a next one the measuring of enzyme activity enzymes are usually present in very small quantities in biological fluids therefore enzymes are not directly measured they are commonly measured in term of their catalytic activity we don't measure the molecules but we are measure how much work it perform that means the rate at which it catalyzes the conversions of substrate to product the enzymatic activity is a reflection of its concentrations activity is proportional to concentrations then uh, how to define enzyme activity physical properties of an enzyme most often is me measured by relative rate by which the substrate is converted to product uh, one unit activity uh, that uh, enzyme activity is a representative and represent the uh, international unit this is known as the iu the one unit activity uh, that means the amount enzymes which converts one mu mole substrate to product per minute at 25 degree celsius example iu and 10 mu mole per minute next one of one unit specific activity the specific activity means iu of enzyme or enzymatic activity per milligram of total protein presence example 10 mu mole and per minutes and per milligram protein or 10 iu per milligram proteins next one of uh, type of enzyme assay enzyme assay can be split into two groups according to their sample methods so uh, this type of enzyme assay uh, first one of continuous assay in second one of discontinuous assay continuous assay where the assay give a continuous reading for activity multiple measurement usually of absorbance change or mat during the reactions either at specific time intervals or continuously by a continuous recording the spectro photometers and this assay or advantages over fixed time methods because the uh, linearity of the reactions may be more adequately verified the second one of discontinuous assay where samples are taken the reaction stopped and then the concentration of substrate and product determined the reaction proceed for design time the reaction is stopped that means usually by inactivating inactivating the enzyme which have weak acids a measurement is made up of a amount of reaction that has occurred next one of enzyme activity uh, i explain in continuous assay continuous assay is they are divided in seven types is first one of uh, spectrophotometric as uh, methods or spectrophotometer assay fluorescence methods are fluorometry calorimetric methods uh, chemi illuminescent method manometric method electrode method and pol polarimetric methods so features of good enzyme activity so first one is one of the simple and is very specific and second one of rapid one does not need to wait for hours or week for the result to appear in third one of it's very sensitive little sample and fourth one of to easy to use and fifth one it's very economical so first of all uh, spectrophotometric assay the spectrophotometric assay is most common method of detections in enzyme assay it use a spectrophotometric or spectrophotometer 
a machine is used to measure the amount of light a substance absorbs to combine the kinetic measurement and bayes law by calculating the appearance of product or disappearance of substrate concentrations if this light is in the visible region we can actually see a changes in the color of azay that's called calorimetric azay uv light is often used since the common coenzyme NADH and NADPH is known as the oxidized form of NADH and converted to uh, reduced form of NADPH absorb in UV light in their reduced form but do not their oxidized forms. Many substrate and products of enzyme reactions absorb light either in the visible region or in UV regions. Mostly the spectra of substrate and product not the same. The conversions of one into another is followed by the considerable change of absorption and by measuring this change the process of reaction can be followed quantitatively. The enzyme is allowed to react with substrate and the decreases in the concentration of substrate or increases of product produced will be followed spectrophotometrically. Advantages of spectrophotometric assay. First one, it's very easy, and second one of it's one of the simple method. It's more sensitive and required in small sample. Whole progress curve can be followed the quantitatively, and the coenzyme undergo the changes, the absorptions of a reduction or acceleration by the substrates. And this type of image, it's one of the example of oxidized form and reduced form. So NADP, it's into the NADH, NADP. Plus, it's in, in uh, that means converted to NADPH. Its absorptions at 340 nanometers. And next one example, uh, it's one of the pyruvate into lactate. Uh, that means the NADH plus H plus is converted to NAD plus. NADH absorb at 340 nanometer. NAD plus it's no absorptions at 340 nanometers. In decrease the absorptions per minutes can be used in measure the rate of LDH activity. Another one of example. So glucose 6 phosphate is converted to glucose phospho galactoactolactase and NADPH uh, absorb at 340 nanometers. NADP plus it's no absorption at 340 nanometers. And another method of coupled reactions. In many reactions, changes in substrate or product are not observable by spectrophotometric method because they do not absorb light. Even when the search enzyme reaction does not result in a change in the absorbance of light, it can still be possible to use a spectrophotometric assay for enzyme by using a coupled assay. These reactions can be measured by coupling them to enzyme that can be detected via spectrophotometers. Here the product of one reaction is used as the substrate of another's easily detectable reaction. This helps to follow the first enzymatic reactions. That is one of the example of coupled reaction. Phosphoenol pyruvate is uh, converted to pyruvate. It is helped to the pyruvate kinase enzyme. Then pyruvate is converted to lactate. It is help of enzyme of uh, lactate dehydrogenase. In both ATP or ADP absorb in at 260 nanometers. In reaction can be followed by measuring the increase of absorptions at 340 nanometers. Specific for NADH plus H plus but not the NAD plus. In another one of example, citrate is converted to isocitrate. Isocitrate is converted to alpha keto glutarate. Its uh, absorptions of NADH in 340 nanometers is no absorptions of NAD plus at 340 nanometers. Second one method of fluorescent method or fluorimetric. Fluorescence is when a molecule emit light of one wavelength after absorbing light of a different wavelength. Use a fluorometers. Fluorometric assay is used a difference in the fluorescence of substrate from product to measure the enzyme reactions. Flaming compounds 
fluorescence is a reduced form and the lose their fluorescence is uh, fluorescence in oxidized form an example of this assay is again the use of the nucleotide coenzyme NADH and NADPH here the reduced form or fluorescent and the oxidized form in non fluorescence oxidation reaction can therefore be followed by a decrease in fluorescence and reduction reaction by an increase more sensitive the spectrophotometric assay but can refer or but can suffer from interface caused by impurities and the instability of many fluorescent compound when exposed to light reductions in small quantities it's enough uh, non dangerous and third one of calorimetric calorimetric is measurement of the heat released or absorbed by the chemical reaction this as a are very general since many reactions involve some changes in heat and with the use of micro calorimeters not much enzyme or substrate is required this enzyme can be used to measure reaction that are impossible to assay in any other way in fourth one of chemi illuminescent assay chemi illuminescent is the emissions of light by yeah chemical reactions some enzyme reaction produce light and this can be measured to be detect product formations this type of assay can be extremely sensitive since the light produced can be captured by photographic film over day or weeks but can be hard to quantify because not all the light released by a reactions will be detected and fifth one of manometric method uh, this uh, as a used in manometers this are convenient and accurate method for following the reaction in which one of the component is a gas for the study of uh, oxidize and decarboxylase oxidize in the intake of oxygen decarboxylase is the output of carbon dioxide and sixth one of electrode method electrode methods uh, is uh, used to ph meters and to be uh, follow reactions which involve the productions of acid use glass or platinum electrode in this method ph meters is used to measure the change in hydrogen concentration during the enzyme reactions example measure change in ph as the reactions proceeds then seventh one of polarimetric method uh, this used to the polarimeters for isomers that convert one isomer to another that convert the aptically active to inactive inactivate or inactive or vice versa and it can be used if both substrate and product are optically active but different in specific reaction uh, d glucose converted to l glucose sucrose is converted to d glucose plus d fructose and another one of discontinuous assay discontinuous assay or when sample are taken from an enzyme reaction at intervals and the amount of product productions are substrate consumption is measured in this sample by different chemical methods discontinuous assay they are divided in two types is first one of radiometric and second one of um, chromatographic assay so first one radiometric assay radiometric assay is measure in incorporation of radioactivity into substrate or its release from substrates the radioactive isotope most frequently used in this assays are 14c 32b 35s and 125i since radioactive isotope can allow the specific labeling of single atom of substrate this assay are both extremely sensitive and specific and they are frequently used in biochemistry and are after the only way of measuring a specific reactions in crude extract uh, that means the complex mixture of enzyme produced when you live cells radioactivity is usually measured in this procedures using a scintillation counter which measure the ionizing radiation and sensitive but as well as and second method of chromatographic assay chromatographic assay measure product formation by separating the reaction mixture into its components by chromatography 
this is usually done by high performance chromatography is known as the HPLC but can also be used the similar techniques of thin layer chromatography. Although this approach can need a lot of materials, its sensitivity can be increased by labeling the substrate and product with a radioactive or fluorescent tag. For carbohydrate reducing sugars, using for the uh, study of enzyme acting on carbohydrate, since the breaking of glycosidic linkage produce a reducing group. So, for one of the example, uh, breaking to glycosidic bonds is converted to reducing group and it is one of the color uh, changes reactions. The starch is combined to water molecules and help to uh, amylase enzymes is converted to glucose reducing sugars is one of the reductions forms is one of the colored product. Intensity of colors enzyme activity. Thank you.